Hey everyone, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, we're going to be decorating some bullet journal spreads in a custom bullet journal that I've started setting up for my mom for the rest of the year. And before we begin, I wanted to thank the Hubman and Chub Girl store for collaborating with me on today's video and sending me some amazing stickers to use in my journal. There will be a huge unboxing a little bit later and a promo code announcement, so please stay tuned. But hopping right into this journal, I wanted to share a few of the spreads I've set up so far for the beginning of the year. So we've got this name page that I've already blocked out. She has a grid spacing guide on the left and a cover page on the right to write the duration of this journal. Next, we have space for her to rewrite her 2023 goals from her last journal. And at the end of this year, she can plan for goals in 2024. We have a period tracker, a list of things to do inside and to do outside. And then this is her little bookshelf and a big space for her to write her TBR, which means to be read. We've got a couple blank pages just in case she wants to add anything else. And we are going to hop right into my September cover page. For September, I'm using the Woodland Mushrooms collection from Hubman and Chub Girl. And in specific, I've got their journal package of all these adorable mushroom and woodland creature stickers to use throughout the monthly setup. I love that this comes with a sheet of monthly headers so you can actually order the journal kit specific to the month that you want to use this theme for. So I chose September, but this would also look perfect for like October or November, super perfect for fall, and these stickers are honestly just so adorable. I thought this cover page needed a little extra something so I added in a mini calendar and even though it's super simple, I think it's a perfect cover page for what my mom needs in her journal. With the cover page complete, we are now moving on to the monthly calendar spread, and I think this ended up being my favorite spread of the whole setup. My mom requested a very large calendar to fit in all of our family members' tasks throughout the month, and I've already set up the grid so we can focus on decorating the calendar in this video. I've got another similar header to the cover page at the top, and I'm adding in some days of the week mushroom stickers at the top of each column. Then we've got some more functional stickers in this journal package, like these little numbers that are cut perfectly to fit in the corners of the boxes on this calendar. And I do have to say it may look a little tedious to stick all these numbers down, but honestly it feels so good to not have to write out all these numbers for a change like I usually do in my journal. And then I decided to just go wild with the extra stickers on this spread because I was just having so much fun watching it all come together. So we've got a squirrel and a hedgehog at the top by the header, and I did this kind of border of mushrooms at the bottom, just alternating between red and brown. And then after adding in a couple more leaves, this spread is complete. Before we get into decorating the other spreads I have planned for this video, I thought it was time to unbox all of the other beautiful stickers that were sent to me from the Hubman and Chub Girl store. First, we have this adorable little thank you note on top of this envelope of some stickers I've picked out for the rest of this journal. So of course, we've got our September Woodland Creature stickers, but I've also picked out some more themes for the rest of this year, like these functional and decorative sunflower sticker sheets for the October theme, which matches the header I have prepped in the journal perfectly. We've got some cozy bakery and tea related functional and decorative stickers for the theme I have planned for November. And then I thought the Starry Night collection would work great for December. So now my mom has full themes to use in her journal and she doesn't have to plan it out. So she's really excited about it. Hubman and Chub Girl also sent me one of their stationary box sets and I picked out this gorgeous honey lavender theme. And I honestly cannot believe how many things come in these stationary box sets. I was blown away. Also, it all just comes so beautifully packaged. I felt like I was opening up a Christmas gift. So first we've got some washi tapes that match the lavender and bee theme perfectly. We also have this adorable little enamel pin that I've actually put on my pencil case since filming this video. 
We have these enormous vinyl die cut stickers that would go perfectly like on your laptop. I think these would also look super cute on your journal or like a Kindle or iPad cover. We've also got some smaller planner stickers like the journal pack and the Woodland Creatures collection that I've been using in this video. They're pretty much the exact same size, just a different theme. Then we've got a couple sheets of some more medium sized stickers for your planner. I would use these as like accent stickers in my journal. We've got a whole huge planner kit with the honey lavender theme that I've already used myself in my bullet journal for a weekly spread and even in my reading journal as well. The last of the stickers from this package are a more assorted style pack with some transparent stickers, glossy vinyl, paper, sparkly, and even some gold foil. There's a huge variety of finishes in this one. And then I did save the best for last. Yes, this stationary box set does come with a journal. And I chose the dot grid journal option, but you can also get a planner if that fits your needs more. This is so gorgeous and I'm so excited to add it to my collection. Hubman and Chub Girl was also kind enough to give me a promo code for my audience to get 15% off their products, which is CMCG15. That will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much to Hubman and Chub Girl again for collaborating with me on today's video. And let's get back to the setup. With our calendar spread complete, we're moving on to a space for weekly journaling. It's supposed to say weekly journal at the top. I wrote daily, um, <laughs> that's my mistake. And also a space for journaling about health and anxiety. I didn't want to take up a ton of functional writing space with decorations, so I just put a couple cute woodland creatures and mushrooms in the corners, and I just called these two spreads done. Now we're moving on to the gratitude log and the monthly goals spread. And for the gratitude log, I did have some extra space at the bottom to make a border of mushrooms, squirrels, and hedgehogs. But on the goals spread, I just got a couple stickers in the corners again to try not to take up a ton of functional writing space. And I also did get to decorate a little bit up by the header with some leaves and cute animals. So I think the spread came out super cute. My mom loves a list style format, so I kept these next two spreads super simple to write what's going on in the world and what's going on with the family throughout the month. And if you've been a follower of mine for a while, you know that I recently added what's going on in the world into my own journal and my mom is the person who came up with it, so thank you to her. The last spread we are decorating in this setup is her September in review, which is a place to write memories from the month, what she's excited for and nervous about for the month coming, and some favorites down at the bottom like a book, a TV show, things that she's just been loving throughout September. And on the right side, it's titled photos because my sister makes a photo collage every month for her just to paste into her journal. So that is the September setup fully complete. We are now entering the final flip through portion of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this really simple sticker filled decorate with me. If you want another video like this, please let me know in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Also, don't forget to check out my bullet journal social medias and please go check out Hubman and Chub Girl store as well and to use that promo code for a discount and to support my channel if you see anything you'd like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!